Okay, so today everyone's going to get started with their metal. After you've created your design, I'm going to tape it to this piece of metal with some masking tape and you'll have a piece of felt. And these are different types of tooling tools, they're wood. This one's more of a rounded tip and it's got this flat side on the other side. This one has got this flat part, a little bit of a rounded part and a very pointy part. This is for small little points. And this one has a very rounded, wide point, and then this is more of a blunt point. So you're gonna be able to use these tools to create your metal relief. Now once you've started, you have to make sure it's on top of the felt to make sure that you have something to push into. And you just take one of these tools and you start pushing in your design. Just basically you're going around it pretty slowly so you get a nice reflection of your design. You can kind of look at the back of it and you can see, oh I see I missed one right here. I can see where I missed part of my designs that I drew. Now once you're finished, you can see I've got all my designs created. I'm going to take this part off and you can just recycle this or throw this in the trash. And I want some of my design to really pop out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my different tools and I want these little parts to pop out and I think I want my my petals to pop out. So I'm going to use different tools that will allow me to make those parts pop out. I'm going to go back and make these lines a little bit deeper so that they really make this part. I can kind of see it's already starting to pop out. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to use a different tool. This one I think will maybe work really well. And I'm going to push that metal out on the other side. Maybe this tool will work a little bit better. It's got this flat part. I'm going to try to get that tool to do what I want the metal to do to make this petal really pop out. And you really have to kind of figure out what tool you need to use to get the metal to do what you want it to do. And you have to work in one area for a little bit to really get the metal to, I'm gonna use this flat part. So I'm kind of gradually poking this pedal out and I can see it's gotten a lot deeper and now you notice how that pedal really pops out it really stands out nicely and that's gonna look really good I can always go back and kind of clarify and make these edges a little bit more defined and I'm really liking that so I would just continue to do that to my other petals if I have time we'll see how much time we have I might make some of these designs really pop out with my tools you can see how that's just going to create some more dimension to your picture. This part is really interesting. It's a very pointy part. You can create really good textures with this. So for example, let's say I really want to create an interesting pattern around my, my frame. I can maybe create just small little dots. That creates an interesting pattern or texture. And do the same thing on this side. And I didn't have this originally drawn on my design, but as I'm going, I might think about that. If I notice that there's something, maybe I made a mistake and I just want to fill in, that creates that interesting pattern. And if I look at the back of it, it kind of shows too on the back. I might decide I want to fill in something. Maybe there's something like right here. I just want to create this center part of my flower right here. I just want to use this texture to create that kind of design. Maybe I want to turn it over on this side and make the, the little dots popping out the other way. Kind of looks like the center of a flower. And that gives it that texture of the center of a, of a lotus flower. Okay, so you're going to continue to work on this all day. I should see lots of textures. This one I've kind of worked on quite a bit and you can see all of those lines really stand out the textures of the dots the textures I don't have a lot of empty space that doesn't have textures but the more texture you have on this the better this India ink will look